at that point, I realized that God was real and that Jesus really died for my sins and that if I followed him, I'd find that love I was looking for. I pretty much uh, was a pagan most of my life and uh, my father uh, died of cancer uh, kind of une unexpectedly and uh, he was a Christian and he was a deacon in his church and I was wondering, will I ever see him again? And probably the only chance is if I went to heaven and I knew for sure I wasn't going to heaven. <laughs> I mean, immediately knew that. And I decided that I better try to figure it out. Since I traveled for a living, I was in a hotel room one night and just thinking about it. And uh, I happened to open the nightstand and guess what was there? <laughs> the Gideon Bible. And at that point, I decided to start reading the gospel, uh, the New Testament, all the gospels. Went home every night, read them, cried. Didn't even know why I was crying. But God was just breaking me and uh, just so happened my brother was a pastor. So in the dead of winter, he lives in North Dakota. I book a flight to North Dakota. <laughs> and I said, Sammy, you're gonna have to explain this to me because I am so confused. And I uh, sat down with him uh, when I got there and he explained the gospel to me. And for the first time, it really made sense. Shortly after I got saved, I met my husband. He was not a believer. We started going to Jim's church. I went to Jim and I said, you know, my marriage is really difficult. And the most difficult part is because I'm a believer and, and my husband's just really not interested. But he would, he, my husband would go to church with me. So one night after church, Jim walked up to him and said, uh, hey, I, I heard you're not working right now and um, you got some time on your hands. Why don't we start meeting for coffee once a week? And so my husband said, sure. <laughs> and uh, he says, good, go home and um, read the Gospel of John five times and uh, I'll meet you on Friday. <laughs> so my husband's like, he wants me to read the Gospel of John five times. Are you kidding me? And I'm like, yeah, not try it. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> and that started uh, my husband's walk with the Lord. And at that same point in time, Jim came uh, to me and said, uh, we go to Haiti every year on a mission trip, and I think you should go to Haiti with us. And. Uh, so I told my husband that, and he's like, Haiti, oh, you're gonna die, you know? <laughs> and I said, no, no, I'm going. And he said, well, I guess I'll have to go and protect you. And uh, so he went, and that changed our life. As Jim kind of forced him into reading the Bible and learning what God was about and gave his heart uh, to the Lord, he changed. And uh, we ended up being missionaries in Italy uh, for eight years. And that all started with Jim discipling my husband. 